Today, the Harare Magistrate's Court joins the rest of the world in commemorating the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence under the theme Orange the World, Generation Equality Stands Against Rape. The Harare Magistrate's Court is the biggest court dealing with cases of rape with an average of 40 cases received a month, 30 being children below the age of 18. Today, by oranging the courts, we are making the commitment for the delivery of quality, timely judgments on cases of rape and other gender-based crimes. We will endeavor to ensure women and girls enjoy their rights to access justice. To this end, the Judicial Service Commission, in partnership with UN Women, have joined together to orange the Harare Magistrates Court. Through the Spotlight Initiative, we are looking forward to a year-long journey of reflecting on our practices and attitudes in discharging our duties. We are making a public announcement today of our transparency and accountability to upholding the values of our constitution and a Zimbabwe in which world-class justice prevails. Ladies and gentlemen, the color orange symbolizes hope and a brighter future free of violence. Without further ado, we call upon the UN Ambassador, Miss Maria Ribeiro, to give us her remarks. start with all protocols observed because today all of us are activists uh, in these 16 days of activism um, and under the Orange the World campaign team Generation Equality Stands Against Rape for 2019. Uh, thank you very much for inviting us here today and also to be here at what is such an important occasion. The UN is working to end all forms of violence against women and girls by 2030, in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. In our spirit of leaving no one behind, we emphasize the call by the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, that not until the half of our world, our population represented by women and girls, can live free of fear, violence, and everyday insecurity, can we truly say we live in a fair and equal world? And that's why the UN uh, has, here in Zimbabwe, has partnered with the government of Zimbabwe and the European Union uh, under the Spotlight Initiative, which seeks to eliminate violence against women and girls. The Zimbabwe Justice Service Commission will indeed benefit under this program from strengthened capacities to discharge their mandate in addressing GBV. And as we heard, uh, the report, the monthly reporting on rapes, which is probably an under-reporting, it a lot of it comes here, and therefore it is critical that the magistrates' court by oranging, by taking the commitment to become orange, is taking the commitment to become uh, survivor friendly. Because one of the reasons why women and girls find it so difficult to report rape is, and why perpetrators go unpunished, is because sometimes they don't meet very much welcome from the services that are supposed to protect them and provide them with assistance. So by urging today, the Magistrates Court is really standing up against rape and saying, this is enough, no more rape, and no more violence here in Zimbabwe. Today, in commemoration of 60 days of activism and under the Orange the World campaign, the Harare Magistrates Court makes history 
by joining a list of iconic buildings and monuments that have been lit in orange to call for a violence-free future. We hope this can encourage and serve as an example to other important services and iconic buildings in Zimbabwe to follow suit and to ensure that the survivors of gender-based violence and rape can indeed find the support, the services that they deserve and that perpetrators do not go unpunished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Ribeiro. May we have some music? also acknowledge the presence of the UNFPA representative, Dr. Mia. Welcome. Um, the European Union Deputy Head of De Delegation, Mr. Thomas Handel, is supposed to give us his remarks. He's here, he's arrived. Welcome, welcome, sir. <laughs> Are you ready to give your remarks? Good afternoon. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry for coming on last minute when we were stuck in traffic. And uh, these days are very busy in Harare for some reason. Um, so without further ado, and if I may say in the interest of time, all protocol observed, um, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak on behalf of the European Union and to add my voice to the call for gender equality and the elimination of violence against women and girls and in particular rape. <coughs> violence against girls and women is a massive human rights violation in its most devastating form. We must put an end to all kinds of abuse to reach equality and peace and protect the human rights of millions of women and girls. And this is a quote from the new commission president um, who just issued a statement yesterday. The EU therefore joins the call to action to act swiftly and decisively against rape and all other forms of violence against